Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. My beautiful Libras, I hope that you are all doing well and feeling lovely. Yeah, you know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may discover all of those beautiful energies that lie from within inside of you, Libra. Happy, happy, happy Thursday. Uh-huh. Yeah, happy Thursday. It'll probably be Friday for some of you, depending upon where you are at in the world. But, you know, I just got to go straight into this energy with you all. Beautiful ones. It's Thirsty Thursdays, okay? I'm just going to call it what it is, all right? It's a special type of Thirsty Thursday. Beautiful ones, you know, I picked up on the energy last night and you all know because, you know, you've been watching the recordings and if you haven't, get caught up on the energy, baby, because I'm there, okay? I'm in the Astros with it. And I was picking up on just like this sexy ass energy. Like, you know, I can't even say some of the things that have been going through my head since last night and it is this energy that it just won't let up. And it hit me, beautiful ones. Venus entered into Libra. Libra is at home. Libra is in Venus. Yes. Check the astrology. It hit me. We are at home. Yes, we are, beautiful ones. And all of this love energy, this, you know, the, the ace of wands popping out everywhere and this passion and desire and obsession, all of that is linked to the things that are beautiful, the things that gravitate you, Libra, towards them. And of course, it has to do with your sexuality and your sensuality, all the things that you are. So... It's like I picked up on that energy last night and it's just been coming through in the readings. I've been having all these channeled songs and what really made me realize, you know, that Libra was at home in Venus now is a channeled sun came through my head and I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, you know, I'm a lover before I can ever be a fighter but I do both very well, okay? So what came through was SWV, the group SWV in the 90s, and it was weak, and it just came through so loud. It was the part of the song that said, I get so weak. Blood starts racing through my veins. I get so weak, but this is something I can't explain. I get so, it's something about the way you do the things you do. Ooh, ooh, it knocks me right off of my feet. Can't explain why your love it makes me weak. Weak! I'm over here weak, y'all. Trying to figure out. And it just hit me. I was like, no, wait a minute. This is a little extra. You know what I mean? And that's what's going on in the energy, beautiful ones. So if you've been feeling weak, uh-huh, yeah, if you've been feeling weak, if you've been feeling like it's time, like tonight is the night, uh-huh, yeah, like you ready, okay? If you've been feeling ready, hey, it's all right, baby. It's all right. I'm here to let you know it's going to be all right, beautiful ones. It's going to be all right. You know, we're still in Virgo. So what's happening is that it's shooting its way 
through the Virgo energy. And when I was expressing like, you know, I could feel that transit last night with Aries, you know, coming in with the moon shifting from Pisces, it's literally like we went into deep thought, into deep passion, right? And so it doesn't help that the moon is in Aries either. It's kind of like an extra match or a fire that has been set when it comes to this energy of Libra at home in Venus. So beautiful ones, let's go ahead, let's get into this energy. This read is called <laughs> Libra's Home. Uh-huh. I got all these channel songs. I can't say nothing without just channel songs coming on in my head, like a radio. Because as soon as I said Libra's Home, I just heard Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home to Stay. And I wasn't alive when that sun came out, you know, but it's just all these channels. I mean, hey, maybe I was, okay, past life energy, right? But it's like I'm a jukebox with the love, okay, right now. So let's go ahead. Let's dip off into this energy. Let's see what's going on. Beautiful ones, I hope that this message finds you beautiful uh -huh, and lovely. Yes, you know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's get that read on in. Yeah, let's get it in, beautiful ones. This is a nightcap. This is a nightcap. Okay, this one wants to come out. Sagittarius comes out. Mm, the Explorer, okay. Let me shuffle these just a little more. Uh-huh, let's get it. <laughs> let's talk about it some more. Some of you can have Sagittarius in your chart. Look, I'm a Sagittarius North Node, okay? This is my ascending energy, all right? So, therefore, I am very adventurous, all right? And I like to go to distant places, even in my mind, right? And you could be a bit of a free spirit because that's what Sagittarius represents as well as clever, all right? You could be a bit of a philosopher as well as bold and very blunt, okay? And also impatient and argumentative at times. I fray away from those not because I'm afraid. It's because it's not my energy. It takes me out of that love frequency, right? So anybody that's going to take me out of a love frequency, I am gone, all right? For good, okay? So let's talk about it. What's going on with my beautiful Libras? What's going on with you? I want to thank you all for the bookings, for the likes, for the subscribes. Yeah, I just want to thank you for that energy. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the shares. Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I even want to thank the cross watchers for having your eyes glued into the Venetian sign of Libra. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's see what came out. Mm-hmm. Let's see what came out. Yeah, there goes Virgo. There goes Virgo. Uh-huh. Look, and I'm I'm up here thinking, there goes my baby. I mean, I just need to lay down. I really do. Okay, because I mean it's just not stopping. <laughs> okay. We got six cards that came out. And let's go ahead. Let's talk about them. Wow. Mm. Okay. I like it. So we got the explorer out here, as I said, Sagittarius. We are in Virgo. Like I said, you know, this is us transiting through the energy of Virgo. And Virgo is the perfectionist. Mm-hmm. It's the perfectionist. And it's all about being analytical and planning, you know, planning for everything, planning for the future, planning for the day, as well as it being connected directly to your sixth house. You can be overly critical with this placement. Mm-hmm. And confident all right so it's fine to be confident it's a beautiful thing to be confident to but to be overly confident about something that you may not be ready for is something to look out for so this is what you know virgos are reminded to you know not to be overly critical because you feel like you could be better than okay so there's this energy of wanting to perfect something is what I'm getting for us Libras okay and you got transformation that's here 
It's you literally, eighth house transformation. This is Scorpio energy, right? And this energy is all about a death and a birth, all right? This is about sex and mystery and investment, as well as the afterlife, shared resources, even inheritance and secrets, joint ventures and legacy. So this eighth house energy, you know, is connected directly to your natural inheritance, okay? What it is that you've inherited down through the bloodline, through the generations, and even some secrets that could be family secrets, okay? And it has to do with the legacy that is created through these different, you know, ventures that your ancestors made because you're transforming. This is a transformation. And, you know, many of us, many of us come back in the energy of our ancestors, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, it's no... It's no, or it's not common. It's not that, you know, you come back as your ancestors, but it's very common that you can see a grandfather or a niece or a, a nephew that resembles that aunt or does something like their father, their mother, their grandfather. So this is that type of energy, that eighth house energy that has everything to do with death and rebirth, all right? That is connected to the legacy and what it is you have inherited in the energy, okay? So Pisces is here and this is the dreamer. This is the dreamer. This is about that mysticism, that is already in you. This is about psychic abilities and also fantasies. And it could be escapism if you don't have, you know, things in check, right? This is 12th house energy, has everything to do with addictions, okay? And about you being artistic, very artistic in the energy. Now, you all can have these placements or these particular placements are people that you could be connected to that are impacting you in this way, right? You got an opposition here, and this is confrontation. Yeah, and I mean, hey, like I said, I don't, I don't condone any, you know, arguments of energy, but it came out in the Sagittarius, the Explorer, okay? So be careful about what it is and who it is you choose to explore in this energy, okay? Because it can end up with a confrontation or someone might feel as if they energetically want to confront you. This is an opposition. This is what we call the ops, okay? And this is a push and pull type of dynamic, right? And it creates conflicts. And it's all about, you know, somebody feeling like you should respect them and they should respect you, vice versa. You know, it's a push and pull type of thing. So this is also internal conflicts that you may be at with your own self, right? Because it causes uncertainty. So be on the lookout for, you know, those that might carry this type of frequency or energy, as well as check yourself when you feel you could be becoming, you know, argumentative or, you know, um, you pretty much learn people. And I have, you know, I have relatives who I love dearly, but I know they like to argue because of insecurities that they have about themselves, that things I'm very sure of, and it pisses them off that I'm so sure about the shit that I'm sure about, right? And guess what? That's not my problem. So I will avoid those people. I will. Doesn't mean I don't love you. Doesn't mean I don't care about you. But it does mean I care about myself, okay? So beautiful ones, stay away from any type of confrontations. And if you see them coming, just look, hey, it's not for you, okay? Second house is here. This is about your material goods. This is about your money. This is about values and security, your work ethic, okay? And expenses. This is all about your career, your possessions, and budgeting, your assets, as well as your financial stability, right? Personal finances. I was thinking before 
today is something about Libras. Libras just like to have different forms of income coming in from everywhere, okay? Um, and I know it's not just me because I have plenty of Libra friends and we all have this, I won't call it an issue, but at some point in time, it can become an issue. You know, last year, I had three jobs and I did not want to let one go. I did not because I liked it, that extra money coming in, right? And it was almost like the universe had to force me to let go of the third job, which initially was the first job. But I had become, you know, I had been there for like 14 years and had become so, you know, 14 at one, 10 at the other, and then I had a little something else going on. And then being a business owner, you know what I mean? I really had an issue with letting it go. I rolled it out four and a half months into the job until the demands that were expected of me, I could no longer meet them and they wanted to meet with me in HR. So I just sent them my resignation letter because I knew I dragged it out. The universe had told me I should let it go. And this is what we do all the time. We hold on to things that we should let go and it's actually keeping us away from our harmony and our peace so that we can sit in that natural energy of just feeling the sensuality that exists from within us, okay? So yeah, this is what's going on in the energy for you. Spirit is telling me to go ahead and pull one more. Uh-huh, give me a closer for Libra. What else does Libra need to know in this energy? What else does Libra need to know in this energy? Ooh, that's a lot. I can't take all of those, but I will take the first one off the top, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll be here all night long. All right, we got Capricorn, the CEO, okay? I mean, and I just said, I just had this conversation. This is driven, stability, patience, persistence, materialistic, ambition, cautious, and practical being practical all right and this is the workaholic detached and ruler of the 10 house libras are also labeled as a workaholic and we could be that you know and sometimes we work our energy too much when we share with others that's work that's work okay this is work and sometimes we overindulge in it okay so capricorn is here beautiful ones Pay attention to how hard you're working, okay? Be cautious is what spirit is telling you in this energy. This is Capricorn, all right? Some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. You could even be dealing with a Capricorn energy. Look, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Your overall energy is the seventh house. This is your house. This is your house. Yes, it is. Partnerships, marriage, relationship, friendships, business and contracts, agreements, joint endeavors, sharing, negotiations, cooperation, and relating. Uh huh. Yeah. And it's like, wow. I, you know, it's just 11th house. This is community. This is about social organizations, friends, so your social circle, and giving back, hopes and wishes, groups and activities, membership networks and social consciousness and this is you know it's all connected because this is partnerships right 7-eleven this is about partnerships and you build partnerships through community and that's what we have over here and it's like i'm addicted to the giving back part okay so you know I love it. I really love this energy that we're sitting in. I feel like if, you know, Libra could be at home in Venus all the time, we'd be in some trouble, right? Uh -huh. We'd be in more trouble than what we get into without it. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's dip. Let's talk about it some more. Let's see what's going on. I want to keep it, you know, lighthearted in the energy. But we never know how the stories are going to unfold. So let's go ahead and look into the price of love. Let's see what's going on. Somebody definitely knows their worth because uh, it just fell out. It fell out like, mm -hmm. know that. Okay, that's what Spirit is saying. Know that much. Let's talk about it. Let's get into this energy. Beautiful, beautiful Libras. 
my beautiful Libras. What's going on in the energy? Mm -hmm. We can really get some good energy out of this, you know, transit. And let me see. I was thinking about, you know, going through some of the different placements, but I, I just made... I just may go through, I'm going to read to you before I go into this deck, what's happening with Libra in this energy, okay? Let's see, let's see. Here we go. Libra, this is the time to think about what you want in a relationship and how you want to be perceived. You will more likely be self-assured and prepare to assume control over your love life. There will be romantic chances around you. So do not shy away from meeting new people. Love can find you in social activities without having to search for it. You will naturally draw attention to you wherever you are. So maintain an open heart during parties group hangouts, or casual meetings. Please listen to that word, okay? Listen to that word, beautiful ones, because this is, it's the energy for that. And I gotta be honest with you, okay? Today I got off work and I went and I sat down and had a cocktail with my salmon and um, a salad and I mean, you know, I just was feeling sensual and sexy and, you know, I want to sit down with a little cocktail and have me a, a nice salmon meal, right? And the lights were dim. I love the way that, you know, this restaurant keeps their lights really down low and it's a very intimate setting. And while I was waiting to be seated, it was this guy who was just staring at me and you know, I am not going to lie. I gave him the stank face. I did. I gave him the stank face. Like, what you looking at? <laughs> it is not for any reason, but he, he had been staring for so long. It just kind of irritated me. It was like, okay, is he going to stop looking now? You know, and I, I got on a hoodie and jeans and tennis shoes. I, I don't, I don't have anything on that's looking like, ooh, check out the va va vooms. Or, but I mean, it is what it is. You're going to see that regardless of what I got on. But maybe he just saw my aura, you know, and I have to get out of, you know, wanting to protect myself from people who I feel overly sexualize you for no reason, okay? Because to me, it's like, what is he looking at, you know? And Libra, some of you may be like that. So, you know, call yourself out on it, all right? Like I'm calling myself out on it. And I did. I called myself out on it here. I, I, I was sitting and I said to myself, let me just smile at him. But then I don't, I always get in trouble when I smile at people. So, you know, it's sometimes it's a catch-22. But open your heart nevertheless. My heart is always open. It's always open, beautiful ones. I just have to share that because I know I'm not the only one that I give them the stank face and, you know, like, oh, what you looking at? Like, don't look at me, you know? I've just always been like that. And to where there are people who want you to look at them. They, they desire for you to look at them. And I'm an introvert. Just to be honest, you know, I got a lot going on, okay? Needless to say, right? So, yeah, just call yourself out on that energy when you could even feel yourself being like that. Leave your heart open. Yeah, keep your heart space open and enjoy being admired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it could be difficult for many of you that are introverts to enjoy being admired. And sometimes we have, you know, wounds from our younger years to where, you know, we were overly admired and things like that. So just know that if somebody is wanting to be curious about you or be more interested in who you are, 
that that's a good thing. It's nothing to take offense by. And even though I wasn't offended, it I easily went back into that energy of, could he stop staring at me? You know, and I feel like that's a natural instinct for especially someone who is, you know, more so introverted, all right? And if you see me out in public, you would not think that I was an introvert at all because, yeah, I, I can I can chop it with the best of them, right? However, at the same time, when it's time for me to go in, I go in. Yeah, I do. I go in. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about the beautiful ones. I go in like a crab, okay? And I do have cancer in my chart, so I can also you know, connect to that side of me as well. Spirit cards for Libra. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. As I channel these messages, I ask for my collaborative to be protected as well. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for Libra. What's going on with Libra? We'll pull six of these, okay? Deja vu. Somebody is having deja vu about you. Uh huh. It's like you're like a, re a memory, a memory that, you know, they can't let go of. This CD is scratched, so it's been skipping. Robotic comes out. Yeah, it's been skipping. It's been something robotic about it that just keeps happening. Uh huh. Wow. Forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. They do. They want your forgiveness and they keep thinking about, you know, how can I, you know, get that energy, you know, that forgiveness. Uh-huh. And, you know, Libra, there are lots of people with Venus and Libra. If I didn't mention my Venus, my Libra is in Venus. I got Libra and Venus on my chart, okay? So that makes it even more heightened for me, okay? Yeah, and we got one of the tribe members. She she uh, shared last week the same thing. And I know plenty of us have Libra and Venus. Yeah. Okay, wow. These came out one more than what I wanted, but healing is here. Yeah, healing is here. And many of you are still healing your heart. And it could be some healing that's going on in the energy when it comes to your person as well. Quality time. Somebody wants some quality time with you. They do. And wow, romance is here. And actually two more cards than what I wanted. But let's tap into it because it's all about the story. There's romance here. And I love how these flowers are right below and above one another. So this is something that is sentimental to someone. This is someone, this is a term of endearment is what I'm getting, okay? Someone is being very optimistic in the energy when it comes to you because you feel like a dream come true to them and you're like the shooting star, okay? Yeah, you're a dream come true. This is something that is like a comment, okay? This is what I'm getting. And you have the comment to come out last night with the same energy of a shooting star, a dream come true. You're somebody's dream come true. And someone wants forgiveness in your energy. There's this energy of a contract that's here. Okay? And someone could be ending the contract. Somebody could want your name on the contract. But this is patience. I feel like someone is, you know, ending something or, you know, waiting to put the ink down on paper, okay? Because patience is here. But ego could have gotten in the way when it comes to this person, right? And there goes the detachment. You took your energy somewhere else is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, and somebody else could have took their energy somewhere else. But this was a friendship. This was a bond that took place between the both of you. Yeah, and the energy, I'm going to split the deck. It was faded. I, why did I feel this before it was coming, right? It was faded. Mm hmm Because it was a dream come true. This is something that, you know, this is that past life energy. This is that energy of really, you know, knowing that you found someone that is all suspicious to your energy. Uh-huh. And that you would like to have them be a part 
of what it is you're doing or something that you got going on. That contract is either someone is ending something in a contract or they want to make something official in the energy when it comes to a contract, beautiful ones. Yeah, that's what's going on in the energy. So let's go ahead. Let's tap a little more. Let's see what's going on. We're definitely going to use the original tarot today, but I want to tap into the sign of the times so we can see what else is going on. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take a look into the Kippa. Yeah, we'll take a look at the Kippa. See what's going on in their house. <laughs> What is going on? Beautiful Libras, beautiful Libras. What's going on with my Libras? Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Yeah, Libra, don't be out here with the stank face, okay? Yeah, that, that shuts people down. <laughs> goodness let's talk about it you got community to come out again bees yeah and look i can't make this up beautiful ones you got bees that are here and this is all about community right you know, people that you meet in your walk of life, the community that you're in, invested in, or that you could just even surround yourself in, the community, right? But look what's here, smiley face, joy. Look, y'all gotta start smiling at people, all right? Even if it kind of creeps you out to smile at strangers, do it, okay? Yeah, be careful, okay? <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you, but you got a smiley face here, joy. I I'm a joyful person, but am I just throwing out the smiles to strangers? I got to admit I don't because I know that it's it can be too inviting to some people. But Spirit is saying in this energy, just like I read, keep your heart open. And if your heart is open, those smiles will just come naturally, okay? They will come naturally, all right? Yeah. What else, Spirit? All right. Messages. The ancestors' feathers are here. You could be seeing feathers. Pay attention to these different messages that are being sent to you. This is the frequency of seven. So you've definitely been having some communication from the ancestors, all right? Comment if you've been getting anything. I love to hear you guys comment, okay? Yeah, you know I do. Yeah, any feathers, finding any pennies, any dimes, all of those things, you know, when you're just walking all around, you know, on the streets, you know, those are different signs of communications from the ancestors. You got crystals here, and this is about your achievements. This is about you celebrating the things that you have achieved in life, whatever they are no matter how big or little they are okay your birthdays are coming up celebrate yourself another trip around the sun and your overall energy is globe you got a lot of possibilities that are all around you some of you could be traveling uh-huh some of you may be taking a trip somewhere bull's eye focus you're being told to focus yeah, focus, focus, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead, let's talk about it. Let's get this tarot out here. We're gonna tap into the Kipper for a hot minute, see what the Kipper has to offer up before we get into the tarot. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy. Libra and Venus, uh-huh. You home, babies. You're home. Welcome home. Welcome home. I wanted to get this out ASAP. Mm -hmm. And get it posted for you guys so that you can enjoy it in this energy. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Spirit? Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. 
that's pretty one. I keep looking for the smaller Kiver decks because this is big. These are bigger, and they're actually too big for my hands. I have to find the smaller decks, and I want to get some more like sexy cards, you know, but not too sexy because I got some stuff that I can't even use here. Just something that's sensual mm -hmm, for our love reads. Thank you, Spirit. And I appreciate your donations to the channel. You know, this channel is well invested in. Uh-huh. Lovers. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about it. Story of our life. Somebody could have Gemini in energy. But this is the lovers. And it's all about love. What's going on, Spirit? Libra. Okay. The privileged lady. Uh-huh. That's the Empress energy. Yeah. The privileged lady is here. Thank you, Spirit. We'll pull four, okay? All right. Off top. Poverty, okay? Poverty comes out. That has no place here. Evidently it does to some degree. Coffin is here. Wow. And sudden wealth is the overall energy. So let's explore this, okay? You got lovers here with a privileged lady. And Property is, to me, this is the energy of a five of pentacles energy. Someone feeling left out in the cold, as well as having some financial issues, okay? With property being here. Mm-hmm. And the coffin is here. Something ended. Something ended in this energy. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Spirit, give me, give me the coffin. All right. A courtship. It's over. Whoever, you know, it is that could have been courting. There could have been someone in the energy, in your energy that was courting, dating. And that's ended. It's a coffin with that energy. And it's like it ended because of someone wants higher goals, higher. They just want a higher level of love. This is high honor. That's the overall energy, okay? And I can't help but to tap into this privileged lady when I see that. Give me poverty. Thank you, Spirit. Unexpected income. So someone is going from being in poverty to having some unexpected income. Or even feeling like they just were financially in a state of lack, okay? And the energy. And we did see, what was it, wealth? Uh-huh. That was overall energy originally. So someone's finances are turned around in this energy give me the lovers all right a pathway so when it comes to the lovers someone sees a pathway give me the pathway with the lovers pathway with the lovers wow that's a lot that's a lot spirit said take this one a main female. Yeah, a main female. Wow. And the overall energy is a main male. And you know what made me say, let me see what's up with the lovers? Because the overall energy was a child. Okay? And I was thinking, okay, this doesn't feel like it means innocent. It means a child. 
So there is someone who was a lover in the energy that there's a main male and a main female overall energy, right? That someone sees this is a pathway. If you follow me, someone does not value that person in the respects of I love my person. They see this person as a pathway, as a way to get through to something or somewhere. Kind of like, you know, someone that who, who pretty much is just, you know, look, having expectations of someone. You got expectations. That's behind the main female. There's someone that has expectations of this individuals. When it comes to a house, yeah, someone is waiting to see how someone is going to move in terms of a house is what I'm getting. Judication. Judication is here. Some type of court, some type of legal matter, something to do with a contract. Someone has expectations, something to gain. They're connected with this main male in order to have a pathway, okay? Or vice versa, we can flip and switch these energies. But this is someone who I'm getting that doesn't want to work. This is toil and labor and then the gift, okay? This could possibly someone saying, hey, if I can have a good outcome in the energy, when it comes to whatever the situation boils down to, um, I could possibly not have to work and I can have that pathway. Tell us about the main female. Main female. Thank you, Spirit. I just keep hearing leash in my head. A leash. Someone who wants to hold on to a great fortune. I can't make this energy up. Beautiful ones. Somebody is dealing with a gold digger. They are. And it's ended. Or even someone could be ending something and started something prematurely with you that ended as well. Okay? Take what's yours and leave what is not. Overall energy is the main female again. Excuse me, the main male. And I put him back at the top. Okay? So somebody's waiting on this main male's money. Okay? That's what I'm getting. That's what I got. And here goes expectations again. Uh-huh. They have expectations. This is somebody trying to take somebody to the cleaners in some form or fashion. Okay? And it could be behind a child. It could be behind a child. I split the deck. There's a mature man that is here. A mature man that is here, and they're a thief, okay? They're a thief. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's tap into this privileged lady because she doesn't seem to have anything to do with this energy. No. This feels like something that your person was involved with before you because this is your energy, this privileged lady. That's too many. Off top. High honor. Like I said, I, I when I looked at the privileged lady, I knew it was her. She's high honor. Because I get like the high priestess, like someone you look to, you know, that puts her in this privileged energy. And then, you know, 12 breaks down to three, right? Hmm. She's the frequency of 12. So she's high honor. And she could be a mature woman as well. Someone who holds herself in a high status, right? Uh-huh. Wow. And changes are happening. In this card, there's someone that is moving. Uh-huh. And we did see the house, right? They're moving. They're relocating. The suitcases are packing. They're loading up the trolley. Uh-huh. Mm, interesting. <laughs> let's get into it, beautiful ones. Let's go ahead. Let's dip a little more. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Let's just go straight into it. Because this here Kipper deck will have us all night long. Uh-huh. And it's not a very big deck. However, 
I think the dramatics of the pictures is what keep you so engaged. Let's talk about it. We got the original to roll out here tonight. See what's going on in the energy. Because definitely someone's trying to hold on to someone because they see them as a pathway. And it's like, if I can't hold on to you, I'll hold on to your money and I'll use a child. Yeah, it's someone that is wanting, wow, King of Wands and the devil when I split the deck. King of Wands and the devil when I split the deck. That ain't nothing nice. That's a whole lot of passion right there. The passion you don't want. Let's talk about it. Mmm, the Hierophant and the Devil. Mmm. Somebody's at con they They're in conflict. This is internal conflict. This is the op. This is the opposition we saw, okay? Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Thank you. Ten of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Tell the story for my Libra. All right, <laughs> Justice is here. That's you for my Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Off top, a death is here. Again, that's that coffin. Wow, that one and gnomes. See, we got the Eight of Pentacles. That's here. We got the Seven of Cups. We got the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Hmm. Beautiful ones. Okay, let me drink some water. Okay. Okay, so what I see happening, beautiful ones, is Someone could be going through a divorce, okay? There's some type of separation that's going on in the energy. The Ten of Swords is also divorce, okay? Uh-huh. Now, you know, it could be a separation of some sort. Either way you put it. It's someone that is severing some type of ties, and it's not the easiest process either. This is something that has been painful. It's a painful ending. Yeah. And someone could even feel like, you know, things were a dead end. They hit rock bottom. They collapsed. This is why we saw that poverty come out. You know, this is a breakdown. This is also attention seeking. Someone could, you know, put the two on the T, okay? Uh-huh. So let's talk about it. You got justice that's here. So it's definitely some type of... You know, um, could be a court situation or a decision that needs to be made, right? We saw that card in the Kipper, along with the death, something that is ended. And there's the synergy of the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has a skill set. Somebody can work on something and they do it repetitiously. It's more than a hobby, okay? This is something that they're making money off of. And it's going to eventually lead to the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever it is they're doing, they're very good at this skill set. Now, someone is definitely in their head when it comes to whatever it is they're going through concerning this ending, this painful ending, whether it's a divorce, this separation. It's something that is painful that, you know, has led to, you know, really numerous occasions of things like something should have been ended, okay? Okay. Or someone kept trying at something until it just ended up in this, you know, style of ex expl explaining it by ten swords in your back, right? And you laid out on the ground and don't know what to do, right? Can't move. But there's this energy of someone blocking someone, okay? 
And someone being blocked could almost feel like it's justice to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm getting off of it. You got a King of Wands that's here. There's definitely this King of Wands energy. You know, I can't. I, what I'm getting from this King of Wands energy is regret. I just see a lot of regret. I feel a lot of regret with this energy, okay? And then we got the Ace of Pentacles. Give me the King of Wands. King of Wands in this energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right, there we go. Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune. And I don't feel... Look. The stars here. Two major arcanas, okay? Yeah. They want a beginning. They want a new beginning. They're in this page of wands energy. And this is why I felt regret. This is someone who has to deal with this energy of knowing is something that was destined in their energy. Something that was destined. Something that was faded. Something that was like a wish come true in the energy. And look, here goes the star, right? A wish come true. That's that star energy. Someone wants to heal something in this energy and they want a new beginning is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. With this nine of pentacles energy. And this could be you self-sufficient. You know, doing the things that it is you like to do in order to see what it is you planted grow into something, right? Wow. It's a high priestess and a king of cups energy. Wow. This is Pisces Cancer. This is a lot of emotion. Wow. With the sun. I mean, Wow. Heavy hitting. Back to back. Look. Someone feels like it's a missed opportunity. Give me this Wheel of Fortune. Someone has seen you as part of their future and fortune. Wheel of Fortune with the King of Wands. They're very passionate about you, too. But it's some regret in this energy. Yeah, this is a hangman energy. This is someone that sees something completely different now, okay? They've been enlightened. They've been enlightened. It's almost like, you know, you could have woke this person up to some things that, you know, they never even entertained is what I'm getting, all right? Yeah. And they are a king of pentacles energy. I do feel an emperor coming on because we done saw three kings off of this one king of wands energy. I feel an emperor coming on, right? But this king of pentacles energy, this is someone who is a smart businessman, okay? Yeah. And look, with the two of cups. Wow. With the lovers. And I'm feeling like, you know, this business ties into love, this partnership ties into some type of union okay yeah and it's caused some chaos and some fighting and energy it has i feel like someone has gone through a separation and they're they held on to your energy the entire time is what i'm getting okay that makes things difficult for people right mm -hmm. this is why they show up in the energy let's talk about it give me this ten of swords ten of swords for libra ten of swords for libra Thank you, Spirit. All right. I heard you knock them off of their feet in my head just now. Look, this is a three of pentacles in the reverse. Now, I haven't even looked at these cards yet, but I'm letting you know that there is a collaboration that is over. It's over, okay? These people don't even trust one another anymore, okay? Three of pentacles is in the reverse. And they want a new beginning and they're holding on tight, okay? I'm hearing they're holding on tight to their money as well as your energy, okay? See, someone saw this energy, your person, as a pathway. They did. They did, okay? And due to this separation, this divorce, this pain, um... A new beginning is set in order, okay? But there was someone that had expectations from this energy, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this collaboration, look, it wasn't it wasn't built on anything that was true. 
it was always the energy of someone being juggled, okay? Someone unsure, someone wishy-washy, okay? Yeah, when it came to this energy of a page of cups, this is someone who was premature with love, okay? Yeah, uh-huh. They just wanted to get their wishes fulfilled is what I'm getting, but they kept a lot of secrets. They did, they kept a lot of secrets. A lot of things were not spoken of or even told. I split the deck. They spy. This is someone who spies, they watch, uh-huh. And they could be looking to see what it is they're going to invest in next is what I'm getting. Okay. Give us the justice. Thank you, spirit. All right. Justice for a king of pentacles. I heard that. I heard that. Look, what? Look, if this king of pentacles has had to go to court or has had any type of situation, it came out in their favor. Yes, it did. Overall energy is the yes. And that's the sun. Okay. This is the yes card. So things were illuminated. Something was very crystal clear. And they came out the winner. Look, this is six of wands. They came out in good favor. Or they are coming out in this energy. Okay. So if I got a cross watcher that's watching this energy, you have a, some type of you know, court uh, situation going on in the energy, it will be in your favor. So the expectations of others will not be met, okay? Yeah, I split the deck. Oh yeah, they're gonna be mad about it too. They're gonna wanna fight. They're gonna wanna cause some bodily injury is what I just heard, okay? Yeah, stay away from the ops. Stay away from the ops, okay? Yeah, beautiful ones, let's talk about it. Tell us more about this deck. Tell us about the death. Thank you, Spirit, for my Libras. All right. The chariot. Yeah, look, it's dead and gone, and they're moving on, period. Cancer energy, the chariot is here with the death, two major arcanas on top of each other. Overall, energy is moving on again. They're being led to calmer waters in this energy with the six of swords here. This is someone that is just, look, look, I just got to go somewhere where... It's water and I am free is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. Yeah, and go after what it is I want. I want to make changes in my life now. I can release the past in order to make changes. We're still in a, you know, we still got another day or two where this energy of this, you know, moon that was in Pisces, you know, and the partial eclipse is still activated, okay? So, yeah. There's a lot of assertiveness in this energy. Definitely someone's moving. They got motion now. And they could have had to, to dissolve of some things, some people, some places, some persons. Uh-huh. That was in the energy causing some disruption. Okay. Let's talk about it. Give me this eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles for my Libra. All right. It's a tower. It's a tower. You know, someone could even have to start. Look, I can't make it up. Wow. Look, someone could have to start all over again, okay? To some degree. When it comes to their business and everything. We got a smart businessman out here. That's not gonna be a problem. The King of Pentacles, see, these are skills that have been given to this King of Pentacles by the earth. This is their earthly goods. This is everything that's tied to them. Their inheritance, okay? That came out in your cosmic read. It's about their inheritance, what it is that is already naturally theirs to do. So if anybody tried to, you know, come up off of that, this king will still be a king of pentacles regardless. They have to go through a tower. And that's why this overall energy is the ace of wands energy, okay? Yeah, it's a new beginning. And they've been given this opportunity from source, all right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I can't make it up from source. The hierophant is here. They've been given this opportunity from source. Yes, they have. As well as new love in the energy. Ace of Cups, let's talk about it. Let's go. Yeah, give me the tower, Spirit. Tell us about the tower. Tell us about the tower. Thank you. Yeah, they're expanding. They're going to expand in this energy. See, they already started manifesting. And they're waiting on their ships to come in. They could be relocating. 
This person could be at a distance from you across a body of water, but for the most part, this is about really foreseeing. They have seen this new beginning before it even started. Uh-huh. And this is someone who is dependable. They are a Knight of Pentacles energy. Whatever it is they offer is going to be something that is solid, okay? It might not be overnight, but it comes through as a solid offer. This energy is a stubborn energy. They're dependable, but they kind of got, you know, they hold on to a little bit of ego there. They do. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they could be healing from whatever it is that went on in the past. Being used as a pathway is what I'm getting. I split the deck. They're in hermit mode right now doing some introspection on everything. Okay. Yeah. That's what's going on. Let's talk about it. Give me the seven of cups. Thank you, spirit. Seven of cups. Yeah, this person will expand. Like I said, this is a smart businessman in the energy. Uh-huh. All right. There we go. Somebody's in their head feeling like they had a missed opportunity, okay? Because they didn't make a decision is what I'm getting with this two of swords here. Yeah, someone didn't make a decision when it came to leaving what it is that was already broken and busted up. Three of Pentacles is in reverse. This is, you know, so look. When you are a three of pentacles in reverse, beautiful ones, pentacles is about your money, okay? And in reverse, this is letting me know that somebody was burnt out. It was, they were divided. They couldn't come together, even have any type of agreements on anything. This is also disorganized. This is someone trying to tell you how to run your business because they got all these ideas. And here it is. You don't agree with anything that they're talking about, okay? So that's what's going on. Now, the card that came out is this Two of Swords energy. Somebody didn't make a decision when it came. When it was time to go, they stayed too long is what I'm getting. And they're in hermit mode after this here energy um, of basically trying to find their balance. Someone could have even been juggled in this energy. Give me the Two of Swords with this Four of Cups energy. Two of Swords with the Four of Cups. Somebody, they didn't make a decision and it's a missed opportunity. All right, we got a flipper. Wow. I'm going to take all of them too. Let's tell the story. You could be seen in the public eye, beautiful ones, or just supported by your community, uh-huh, yeah, or even just in this energy of celebrating your accomplishments, your wins, okay? All of this energy is, is was all in the cards before, okay? Your achievements, that Labradorite that came out, uh-huh. When it comes to really creating balance in your own life is what I'm getting, Six of Pentacles. But I feel like somebody sees you or they see you in the energy of wanting to give some reciprocity, give to you, create something balanced and fair in the energy because that's who you are as an individual, right? Yeah, it is because you're the Queen of Swords, Libra. Here you are. You are the Queen of Swords. You create fairness and balance, okay? Uh-huh. And you even offer someone to even speak the truth right and you walked away from this energy you walked away you found something better to go towards all right and it was possibly some honesty because you felt something was going on in this energy mm -hmm, you did and that's why it was a missed opportunity overall energy is the sun this is the yes card okay this is like the truth right but you walked away towards the sun you said, I'm not going to be unhappy anywhere. I'm going to be happy with who it is I'm supposed to be happy with. If it's not with you, happy does exist, okay? Look, I'm going to be happy. Seven of Swords, been there, done that, right? Uh-huh. This is someone, you know, you could have even ran away from this energy because the Most High told you to. Uh-huh, higher fan. You could feel, you know, people would be like, oh, you need to handle those, you know, those abandonment wounds are these things that need to be handled because you're not sticking around to get stabbed. No, thank you. I'm gone. <laughs> Next, you know, so this is what I get from that. You know, you could have shook the spot. You saw the truth for what things were, okay? 
Uh huh. You hear the sirens in the background? Yeah, it was some. It was some pretty. It was things that they were hidden. Okay, they were hidden. You felt it. You seen it. Okay, and you said, "I'm gone. I can't take this. I'm being actually led by the Most High." I'm listening. I'm going to be obedient to the ancestors that are sending all these messages, all right? Because guess what? Like I said, look, I'm not staying where I'm not loved because I know this cup is here, okay? And I would only keep dropping the ball on it if I stick around for this shenanigans, right? Mm -hmm. Give me the seven of wands. Seven of wands. You could be blocking someone in the energy, protecting yourself, right? Because... You know, when a Libra is sure about what it is they want, I think it scares people. It does. Because it's like, nah, nah. Because, you know, we got a reputation for changing our mind. We do. Okay, these cards came out. See, look, you block this energy. Here's why. No, I feel like this King of Pentacles is blocking energies who they invested in. Someone invested in business with some shady individuals they got a bunch of secrets things that were hidden from them i'm getting that they were even stealing money from this energy okay this energy is waiting like you know where's my money at like what's going on with my money and it's because they were dealing with like the seven and the three that's ten that's the ten of pentacles this is a business this is somebody's legacy right? And then you're doing business with shady individuals. It got turned upside down because of who you're doing business with. All these secrets that they were kept, things they were hiding money is what I'm getting as well, okay? So th your person, this King of Pentacles energy has blocked these energies. They have, okay? Overall energy is now they're manifesting a new thing and we see that happening up here, okay? Yeah, because they're starting all over. They're manifesting something new, okay? Something new in love, something new in wealth, health. And they could be manifesting a high priestess energy is what I'm getting. So let's talk about it. Give me the hangman. Give me the hangman. Thank you, spirit. Hangman. They see things differently now. They grew up, they mature, and that's the truth, okay? They see the truth, all right? They see clarity. They see clear. I can see Feeling now the rain is gone. They see a nine of pentacles. They do. Okay? You can have Virgo in your chart. But they just see someone self-sufficient that is growing their own pentacles. Okay? And we know the nine plus the king's pentacle is the ten. Okay? So you would be somebody to invest in in this energy is what i'm getting and i feel like somebody is feeling that big time in this energy yeah they are the temperance is here the temperance is here this is about this is healing this is moderation this is finding your balance and this is one foot on land and the other in water okay yeah, best of both worlds is what I'm getting from this energy. Your person is this wounded hero type of energy, okay? They were saving all the wrong people. They were saving people that didn't mind watching them drown a little bit, but just not enough not to fork it up, okay? So let's talk about it. Give me the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Ace of Pentacles sitting next to the Ace of Swords, okay? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles, wow. Okay, there's some type of love message that is coming through, okay? Eight of Wands, all right? Uh-huh, and this is some type of communication. It could even just be movement, fast movement, okay? Happening in the energy, in the cosmos when it comes to expansion is what I'm getting. Because this is a new beginning. Overall energy, Ace of Wands, Okay. It's a new beginning, mm-hmm, and someone making big changes, being in this energy of a knight of swords, okay? They want to make fast changes. This person is assertive about making new things happen because they could have even felt like they were left out in the cold, okay? And I'm feeling like your energy is coming up in here, okay? You're already this queen of swords energy. You're very fair, right? Give me the eight of wands, eight of wands, eight of wands in this energy, Eight of Wands. Okay, look, my goodness, yeah. Four of, I said, I feel like your energy is here. This is Four of Wands. This is a union. This is a marriage. This is even a love from the past reuniting in the energy. This is somebody that wants to reunite with you 
have some conversation that that talk okay if you didn't catch the reading yesterday the talk yeah someone wants to have that talk is what i'm getting because they're manifesting it all right uh-huh this is like manifesting they have an idea they have an idea on you know really how this collaboration can come together and you know just you two come together period okay now they're kind of in balance when it comes to how to do this is what i'm getting it's like you know they haven't quite found their bearings but they're healing right now this is why the temperance angel was here they're trying to find their moderation okay let's talk about it i split the deck wow straight to the two of cups straight to the two of cups they know what their moderation is this is when venus meets cancer yeah Mm. Tell us about the four of wands. Give us the four of wands from my Libra. Wow. Wow. The ten of cups in the world. This is what they want. They want this ten of cups. They want to close this. They want to close the cycle. They want to end something in order to have more. And that's the Ten of Cups. This is domestic harmony. This is happiness. This is closing a chapter on something. Because they want stability. They want a foundation. They want this divine union with the Four of Wands. This is definitely a reset, 1111 right here. But they want this Ten of Cups. They do. And they have to close out the things from the past in order to have it. Beautiful ones, many of you are in this energy dealing with someone who had to close something out. And at the time that you met this individual, it was still open. It was still open, okay? Overall energy, I can't make it up. Seven of Swords. So they weren't quite honest. Uh-huh. They even felt sneaky. Uh-huh. It was deception that was happening in the energy. But they gave that offer. <laughs> See? See how it's rolling out? It's exactly what I say, beautiful ones. They gave you an offer anyway. Nine of Cups, because they felt emotions for you. They felt the love. I'm hearing that they felt something that they didn't feel in the previous connection that they had that was not a connection with a Queen of Pentacles energy. This is Miss Expectations is what I'm getting. It's the King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a married couple, okay? That could have had a business together. That's what I'm getting. But I'm getting that, you know, look, that's not so. <laughs> They're, they want to be single. They're looking at somebody that was single or that is single, you know? Nine of Pentacles is here. They're like, look, I'll trade this in for that. Uh-huh. This came up in your reading earlier today. I, I can't recall if it was Leo, Cancer, or just Libras, but, you know, either way it goes, Libras was in tie. They was tied to it, and I immediately got that energy, and this was a whole nother deck, okay? But I immediately got that energy, like, you know, this is the, this the new style right here, okay? Somebody is definitely vibing on a whole nother frequency right now, okay? Because who it is that they shared this business with or even this partnership with, it was not real. It was deceptive. It was sneaky. Uh-huh. And now they're in this energy of Knight of Swords. They want to go after a new style. Uh-huh. Someone who is self-sufficient and who is not looking for a pathway. Queen of Pentacles. Mm, come through, spirit. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Give me the three of wands because they got expansion happening in the energy, okay? And it's going to be bigger and better than what it was with this Queen of Pentacles is what I'm getting. It's what I got, uh-huh. Let's talk about it. Okay, it starts off with the solid offer that they cannot get out of their mind because like I said, they've already foreseen this, okay? Uh-huh. They've had dreams about this. Mm-hmm. They've been retreating. They've been resting in this energy and thinking about this new beginning. Uh-huh. Yeah, and fantasizing about being all up on you. Uh-huh. Yeah. At nighttime, this is what time it is. It's Ace of Wands time, okay? Yeah, it is. They want to put down the swords and they want to celebrate in your energy. Three of Cups. They do. 
they don't want this conflict. If you aren't talking to this person, they want some conversation. They do. Uh-huh. Give me the Knight of Pentacles. Tell us more about this solid offer. All right. All right. Yeah, they want to move forward. They want to move forward. Yes, they do. Uh-huh. Because they were heartbroken not being in your energy. It is heartbreaking not being in your energy. This is your energy, Libra. This is you. And here goes that page of cups. Uh-huh. See, it was premature before. But now this is just that new feeling that they had. Now they can understand it more, okay? Because things are confusing when you still have things that are from the past that are still there that need to be closed out. Just like I was talking about those jobs. Same energy. Look. Three of Swords, a new love, Page of Cups, and then you have this Queen of Pentacles that's here, and what is she doing? Trying to be in the way is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Trying to keep this energy from not being in this self-sufficient energy or in the energy of you who's self-sufficient, right? They're moving forward nevertheless, okay? They got a new beginning nevertheless. Let's talk about this here shady collaboration. Give us energy on the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I almost feel like, you know, this is someone who was sharing what it is. Look, I can't make it up. Sharing whatever they had from their person with an op. Okay, with an opposition. Seven of Swords is here, uh-huh. This is deceitful, this is dirty. And someone is in hermit mode, uh-huh. Yeah, watching them. Either one of these parties, if not the both of them. Uh-huh, wow. They're watching to see how they're gonna move in love. Yeah, yeah. So, look, their relationship didn't work out. And they want to monitor. They want to become the monitoring spirit of how this Two of Cups energy works out. Mm. Tell us about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. All right. Wow. Went in reverse, too. A page of wands in reverse. This is somebody who is, you know, first of all, they stressed out, dealt with a lot of anxiety because they can't create anything on their own. They lost their pathway. They lost their pathway. They can't create anything on their own. This is somebody, I wouldn't even call it a, a, a creator's block because it's at the stage of a page, okay? This is somebody who is basically used to handouts and people doing things for them, okay? And they are totally stressed out and feeling like they done lost everything. Grief, sorrow, and regret, okay? This is somebody that is waking up to the type of person that they are and even, you know, the consequences to their actions. This is sad shit right here. Nine of Swords to the Five of Cups. That's like depression, okay? Yeah, it is. And Five of Swords, I mean, they're ready to fight. This is somebody who tried to go to war, but now they're in this energy of probably wanting to put these swords down because they don't have a winning chance with the Page of Wands being in reverse. I mean, what you gonna do with a page with a wand in reverse? This is someone who is also, you know, not flipping switches energies, whether it's a masculine or a feminine. This is someone who is loose with their passion as well, okay? They, they kind of prematurely pass their passion around because they're not responsible when it comes to how to share passion. This is someone who is unreliable as well as they lack ideas and they're pessimistic. This is someone that has all these great ideas but never persecutes them, okay? Or, well, I said persecute. I didn't mean, <laughs> okay, to say persecute. But somebody may be persecuted, okay? I don't know who that's for. But uh, I said it, so I meant it, okay? Yeah, somebody could be... Mm, okay, let's move on. All right, so the chariot is here with the death. They put a death to something. 
They're moving on. They're gaining momentum in this energy. Let's talk about the chariot. Give us the chariot, spirit. Give us the chariot. All right. Yeah, and it's creating fights. It's creating arguments, competition. Somebody wants to keep this person stuck. They do. Uh-huh. Only to fulfill their wishes because they're watching this energy. They're definitely eye spying this energy. Uh-huh. Yeah, star, because they're healing. They want to see how this person heals without them, okay? Because they're wishing, wow, and go towards the empress. This is why they worry. They know exactly what this person's next move is, okay? They're going to go get their wishes, uh-huh, because they got their eye on the prize, page of swords, and it's a star energy, star seed, and it is that empress energy quit playing with us, and it's the king of cups. They got a lot of emotions for this empress energy. They do, they do, they do. Yeah, they do, okay? And it's strong. Somebody might have a Libra, a Leo placement, okay? They could have Leo on their chart, too, but it's, look, somebody knows that it being done with them means it's on with someone else. And it's an Empress energy. They're super insecure. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're monitoring this person. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a masculine figure. If it was a masculine figure and a feminine figure doing the monitoring is what I'm getting. Okay. A fake friend is what I'm getting in this energy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell us about the five of wands. Someone doesn't want this king of pentacles to get their wishes fulfilled. They don't. But they're going to get it anyway. Quit playing. Uh-huh. They're going to get it anyway. Okay? So, look. You know, and like I said, I, I smell a, I smell an emperor coming on. So, I ain't worried about this other. You know, I mean, he's a king and she's an empress. But your overall energy was the possibilities. And this isn't about, you know, seeing the possibilities, but when you know, you know, right? Someone has gone in this hermit energy. They're definitely watching the Empress. They definitely went into some introspection about this Two of Cups. You can't escape it. This is the love. This is something divine. This is something, I mean, you just can't run from this type of energy. No, somebody's, they've gone in and they've realized who you are in their energy. And they do it every night, okay? You do every night and every day is what I'm getting. Yeah, uh -huh. every night and every day this Ace of Wands is up and ready to go, okay? Yeah, call it New Beginning, call it the Phallus, is here, okay? And they feel some type of way about you. They feel some type of way about you. I split the deck. They feel some type of way about you. You make them happy. They see joy in your eyes is what I heard. Woo! In your eye, your third eye. That that connects you to source. The hierophant is here. This is somebody that is looking at long-term stability with you, okay? This is what I'm getting. This is what I got. Mmm. Wow. Libra. Let's go ahead and look at the fool and get ready to close out, beautiful ones. I need to lay down sometime, right? Give me the fool. Give me this new beginning. New beginning. The fool for my Libra. All right. Wow. Okay. We got two. An uh, emperor came out in reverse with the magician. Mm -mm 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 I already know what it's about. Someone's trying to block them from their new beginning. Like I said, it already created chaos. You got an emperor in reverse with the magician. Overall energy, a knight of wands. And judgment. Oh my goodness. We got the emperor in reverse. They're a king of pentacles, but it's like somebody doesn't want to see them boss up and become an emperor to match the energy of the empress. They want to keep them in low vibration through this magician energy. Give me the magician and the emperor in reverse. Magician and the emperor in reverse. Thank you, spirit. Spirit said, pull. New love with a high priestess. 
The emperor is in reverse because they want new love with a high priestess energy. Wow. King of Swords. They could feel like we got the Queen of Swords out here. Lovers, they feel like they know, like you're their wish fulfillment. The lovers to the wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. A page of cups. This is a new love. This is this emperor is in reverse with the magician and the page of cups. The high priestess is here. Give me, give me the page of cups with the emperor in reverse. Okay, thank you. Three of cups. Three of cups with the high priestess. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh-uh. Nine of swords with the five of cups. This is depression. And these three individuals. When it comes to new love, turning the emperor in reverse with the magician, yeah, this smells, uh-huh, it smells like sorcery. Give me this page of cups with the emperor in reverse. Page of cups with the emperor in reverse. We already got him coming out with the magician. Yeah, it smells like sorcery. This is the yes card, okay? Uh-huh, and the devil. Yeah, the devil and I, I could just feel the energy together, okay? Yeah, the devil and, yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, it's sorcery. Somebody's been working some sorcery to turn this emperor in reverse, uh-huh, to keep them in balance and energy and heartbroken, overall energy through your swords. And they're under judgment for it, okay? So if you were wondering about a delay, this is the delay, okay? Th that's the delay. This was the delay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Give me the Ten of Cups. Let's close out, beautiful ones. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Psh, come on now. It's the Ace of Cups. It's the Ace of Cups. Look, this is love without a limit. Yeah, this is love without limits, okay? Your cup runneth over in this energy. Give me the devil, and we're going to close out. Give me the devil in this energy with the sun. Because they're under judgment, okay? That matter has been taken care of, all right? Yeah, and now it's a new love. This is new emotions that's in the energy. And it's bringing this emperor energy. Like I said, I smelled the emperor, but... This is someone that was trying to suppress them from being in this energy. They think about this new love at night, all night long. Ooh, all night long. All night long. It's strong, y'all. Ace of Wands, okay? Yeah. And they put down their burdens. They did. They put these burdens down for the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it is they had, they put it all down to go for more. Okay, like I said, they wanted more. And that's the judgment for your person. Yeah, this heartbreak energy, they want to celebrate. They want to celebrate, okay? This is Libra energy. This is somebody, they can feel some type of way. They definitely want to, I'm hearing the high priestess is here. I just heard makeup. Mm -hmm. They want to make up. Yeah, they want to make up. They want to come about this cold. They want to come about the cold with you. They do. Mm, they don't want to give up. Nine of Wands. They don't. Mm. Give me the Nine of Cups. And we're going to close out. Nine of Cups in this energy. The Nine of Cups. That's an emotional love offer. Wow, that's way too many. But I'm going to tell the story. This Queen of Wands came out, okay? And she's hating, okay? She's hating. Let's say that right now. Overall energy is the hermit. She's the one looking in the night, in the dark, being all creepy and weird, right? Trying to keep a King of Cups energy trapped in her head. Uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody can have a Leo placement. But guess what? Wow. Wow. This Queen of Cups is here. This is that interference I have saw in the cards before. Um... But this Queen of Wands energy knows damn well this King of Cups is strongly trapped in their head about their Queen of Cups, okay? Uh-huh, yeah. And here is she standing in the way of this here emotional love. This card actually dropped out separate from these. It did. But I wanted to acknowledge it could be an Aries 
Leo, Sagittarius energy. I'm, I'm hearing heavy on the Aries energy that knows this is what time it is. It ain't nothing they could do about it. Because you are the Empress. Let's look at the overall energy. They're watching, okay? The in hermit mode being weird and they're heartbroken. I split the deck. They watching. They definitely eye spying, okay? Your person is spying on you too, okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. The spying is big is what I'm getting. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful ones. This is what's going on in the energy. If this message resonates, or even if you just enjoy getting this energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. For my cross watchers, I love you all. Hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of this metaphysical vibe. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.